Jay Briscoe was a revolutionary force in the world of wrestling, and alongside his brother Mark, he forged a new path for tag team wrestling, paving the way for the thrilling, high-flying style that we all know and love today. He was definitely a true trailblazer, standing shoulder to shoulder with an avant-garde group of legends like Brian Danielson, CM Punk, Samoa Joe, Christopher Daniels, Roderick Strong, AJ Styles, Nigel McGuinness, and of course his brother Mark. A group that would define a new generational wrestling style that was yet to come and that would be the foundation for the wrestling style of today. But Jay was more than just a wrestler. He was a master of the craft. His charisma was undeniable with mesmerizing facial expressions, promos, and in-ring movements that told the story of an agile, enigmatic, and blunt Southern brute. His brutal in-ring energy and high-intensity promos were truly underrated, and his legacy lives on in the hearts of his fans. This memorial video is a tribute to a true wrestling icon, a man who left an incredible mark on the sport he loved. Jay and his brother Mark grew up on a farm in Laurel, Delaware, where they had experience in amateur wrestling and high school football. They decided to follow their dreams of becoming pro wrestlers and made their debut for an independent promotion in the year 2000. In 2001, Jay and Mark made their debuts for Combat Zone Wrestling, also known as CZW, at Delaware Invasion, being brought into the job as part of a three-on-one handicap match against Trent Acid. At the inaugural Best of the Best event, a show that spotlighted athletic junior heavyweight wrestling, the two brothers advanced past the first round in a three-way match with Nick Mondo. They were then matched against each other in the second round with Jay winning and advancing further. This match helped launch the brothers careers as they were new to the independent circuit and were very young at the time. In 2002, Jay and Mark joined Ring of Honor and made their debuts at the fourth anniversary show. They immediately forced themselves into a match that was at first between the teams of Tony Mamaluke, Saul Renaro, Jason Blade, and Kid Mikazi and won in their re-debut. They then feuded for the tag team championship but not as much as they had against Styles and Red three years earlier. They lost in three shots against the champions at the time, Austin Aries and Roderick Strong. As before, the storyline was that this cost them any chance at the belt for as long as those champs held them. Around this time, the brothers became enforcers for Jim Cornette's heel character as Ring of Honor commissioner, fighting battles against his enemies, most notably Homicide and his partner Samoa Joe. During this time, they had feuded with Kenta and his partners Davey Richards and Naomichi Murufuji. After this string of unsuccessful successful attempts at the Ring of Honor Tag Team Championships, the Briscoe Brothers finally reached the top of the mountain again at the 5th Year Festival Chicago event, defeating Christopher Daniels and Matt Sedal to win the Tag Team Championships. Their reign, however, proved to be brief as they in turn dropped the belts to Naruki Doi and Shingo Takagi in their first defense at 5th Year Festival Liverpool. After this match, the storyline was that the brothers felt like they needed to man up due to losing their title in their first defense defense, just as they had the GHC Junior Heavyweight Tag Team Championships earlier in the year. Thus, the two faced off in what was described as a one-time only at 5th Year Festival finale. The match ended in a draw, with both of them unable to answer to the referee's count of 10. At the next event, All-Star Extravaganza 3, they won the titles back from Doi and Shingo, but in the course of the match, Mark was actually seriously injured, attempting a shooting star press to the floor. Mark was kept in the ICU of a hospital for two nights and suffered a seizure there before eventually being released. Two weeks later, Mark made an unadvertised and unannounced return at Fighting Spirit, entering through the crowd to come to his brother's side during his match with Eric Stevens against Kevin Steen and El Generico. The story was that Jay was tagging with Stevens as a replacement with Mark out and injured. The No Remorse Corpse then ran in and attacked Stevens and Jay was momentarily left without a partner until Mark entered. The Briscoe Brothers then began to feud with Steen and Generico and after success Successfully retaining the tag titles over Claudio Casanoli and Matt Sedal at Ring of Honor's first pay-per-view, Respect is Earned, Steen and Generico showed up and immediately demanded their title shot. The scene followed with a wild brawl all over the building. The feud was observed on both Ring of Honor's standard canon, with Steen defeating Mark at a fight at the Roxbury and the pay-per-view series, with the brothers successfully retaining the tag team titles against Steen and Generico at Driven, after which Steen repeatedly attacked both brothers with a ladder. The Briscoes then retained over Steen and Generico in a steel cage match at Caged Rage, and in Ring of Honor's first ever ladder match at Man Up. This feud was one of the most intense and bitter in the history of Ring of Honor. As the Briscoes continued to dominate Ring of Honor, they also made appearances in other promotions, such as PWG, where they won the PWG World Tag Team Championships, and New Japan Pro Wrestling, where they became IWGP Tag Team Champions. The brothers were known for their high-flying, hard-hitting style, and their intense brotherly bond. Jay Briscoe's rise to the top of the single ranks in Ring of Honor 
Connor was a long time coming, and for years he and his brother Mark have dominated the tag team division, winning the Ring of Honor tag team titles 13 times and establishing themselves as one of the best tag teams in the world. But as Jay entered his 30s, it became clear that he had all the elements of a world champion. The in-ring ability, the charisma, and of course the drive to be the best. Jay had always been a dominant force in the tag team division of Ring of Honor, but it wasn't until 2014 that the company indeed recognized his potential as a world champion. After defeating Kevin Steen for the Ring of Honor World Championship, Jay set out to prove that he was not just a tag team wrestler, but a main eventer in any company. Jay's first reign as Ring of Honor World Champion was a testament to his versatility as a wrestler. He successfully defended the title against a plethora of different opponents, from the high-flying Adam Cole to the powerhouse Michael Elgin. His matches with Cole were particularly noteworthy as the two engaged in a heated feud that saw them put on some of the most intense and physical matches in Ring of Honor history. But perhaps the most emotional moment of Jay's first reign as Ring of Honor World Champion came when he was forced to defend the title against his own brother, Mark. The brothers had always had a fierce rivalry, but this match took it to a whole new level as they put their family bond on the line for the ultimate prize in professional wrestling. In the end, it was Jay who emerged victorious, solidifying his place as one of the top wrestlers in the company. However, Jay's reign as Ring of Honor World Champion was not without its setbacks. In 2013, he suffered a severe injury and was forced to relinquish the title, and he returned to Ring of Honor in September of that year and was stripped of the title. Jay refused to accept this and began claiming he was the real world champion and had a belt to prove it, and he was given a chance to unify the titles in a ladder match at Supercard of Honor 8, but was ultimately defeated by Adam Cole. Jay's second reign as Ring of Honor World Champion came in 2014 when he defeated Michael Elgin to win the title for the second time. This reign was marked by a successful defense against Samoa Joe and Joe's return match to Ring of Honor and a hard-fought battle against Jay Lethal at Best in the World 2015. Jay's reign as Ring of Honor World Champion may have come to an end, but he was always a force to be reckoned with in the ring, winning multiple championships and putting on some of the best matches in the company's history. His legacy will live on through the countless fans he inspired and the wrestlers he influenced. Jay Briscoe may be gone, but he will never be forgotten. In 2013, Jay suffered a serious injury that forced him to take a break from in-ring action, but he didn't stay away for long. In fact, he returned to Ring of Honor in 2014 when he and Mark picked up right where they left off, winning the Ring of Honor World Tag Team Championships for the ninth time. They went on to win the championship a total of 13 times as mentioned before, and became the most decorated tag team in Ring of Honor history. As the 2016 Field of Honor event began, the Briscoe brothers, Jay and Mark, stood tall amongst the sea of competitors in the tag team gauntlet match, all vying for the coveted Ring of Honor World Tag Team Championships. Despite their fierce determination, the brothers ultimately fell short in their quest for the title, but this loss only fueled their fire even more. Throughout the year, the Briscoes continued to prove their worth as a formidable tag team competing in various high-stakes matches, including the Ring of Honor World Six-Man Tag Team Championship Tournament, where they teamed with Toru Yano, but unfortunately came up short. And the Briscoes' persistence and hard work eventually paid off in March of 2017, when they teamed with Bully Ray to defeat the Kingdom and claim the Ring of Honor World Six-Man Tag Team Championship. But their reign was also short-lived there, as they lost the titles just a few months later to Dalton Castle and the boys. Despite the setback though, the Briscoes pressed on and in September of the same year, Jay made the shocking decision to turn on Bully Ray and cost them their match against Adam Hangman Page and the Young Bucks for the Ring of Honor World Six-Man Tag Team titles. Mark soon followed suit, attacking Bully Ray and Tommy Dreamer alongside his brother. The following year, in March of 2018, the Briscoes achieved yet another milestone in their career, defeating the Motor City Machine Guns to become ROH World Tag Team title champions for the ninth time. However, the reign was once again cut short by SoCal Uncensored, which was of course Kazarian and Scorpio Sky in October of that year. But the Briscoes never let defeat keep them down for long. In March of 2022, they were inducted into the Ring of Honor Hall of Fame, cementing their legacy as one of the greatest tag teams in the history of the sport. And speaking of 2022, that was also the year where the Briscoe brothers were challenged by FTR, who were determined to prove that they were the true tag team in Ring of Honor. The two teams engaged in an unforgettable trilogy of matches that pushed the limits of what fans thought was possible in a tag team match. Jay and Mark were the final brutal test for Dax and Cash, gradually building the brutality in their trilogy like only the Briscoes could. The dog collar match at Final Battle on December 10th was the final match of the trilogy, and the Briscoes won the match and secured their 13th reign as ROH Tag Team Champion. But sadly, this would also be the last match that Jay would have. A fantastic final match on an already mesmerizing career of the Southern badass that Jay was. He left us still as champion in the company he dedicated his entire career to. On January 17th, 2022,
2023, Jay passed away in a tragic car accident in Laurel, Delaware, just eight days before his 39th birthday and one day before his brother's 38th birthday. His daughters, who were also in the vehicle, suffered some serious injuries. And like many other wrestlers stated, Jay would want everyone to pray for them and we will. And now I'm not gonna lie and pretend also that I've been a massive Jay Briscoe fan from the start because in fact, I've only watched my first match of his in the tail end of 2022. But after doing some research for this video and seeing the impact that his passing has had on the entire wrestling world, I can truly say that we lost a legend. I can only imagine what his family must be going through and I seriously hope his daughters recover fully. What happened was a tragic accident and was truly unfortunate. His passing was announced on Twitter by AW and Ring of Honor owner Tony Khan. In honor of Jay, an episode of Ring of Honor Honor Club was created as a tribute show and the event would be called Jay Briscoe Celebration of Life. Jay's success in the ring was also matched by his dedication to his family. He was married to his high school sweetheart Ashley with whom he had three children, Gracie, Jay Lee, and Gannon. Jay was a devoted father and his family was always at the forefront of his mind. Even in the middle of his busy wrestling schedule, he made sure to make time for his kids and be there for them. Jay's death was a devastating loss, not only to his family, but also the entire wrestling community, as I've said before. He will be remembered as one of the greatest wrestlers of his generation and a true icon in the sport who will be missed by fans and fellow wrestlers alike. Rest in power, Jay Briscoe. Rest in peace, Jamin Pugh.